Hello, Mr. Dade Murphy. Sorry to keep you waiting, even though you did not address me, but uh, addressed somebody else and we'll talk about that. Uh, this video is not intended for the saints, which is the house of God, which are of the house of God, I should say, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. And Jesus Christ, he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by him. Okay? And the scriptures, the authorized version, uh, tell us that sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Lowercase w. Address that in another video. Like I said, this video is not intended for the saints. This is intended for you <laughs> atheists. Okay? I, I laugh because there is no such thing as an atheist. And this video is uh, directly, and I'm going to put the guy's um, channel in here. Uh, this is a response video onto a Dade Murphy. You, you might have heard me mention this individual before. Um... Uh, yeah, this is addressing you, Mr. Murphy. I hope you see this. I hope you see this. Mr. Murphy, I give you this respect. I will give you this mis respect, Mr. Murphy. If the Lord Jesus Christ of the Scriptures were to present himself to you personally, you have made it clear that you do not want the God of the Scriptures. You, sir! are vehemently against the God of Christianity. <laughs> Bravo! So am I. So am I. I'm not a Christian, Mr. Murphy. I'm not a Christian. I'm a saint. Now, right away you might be thinking, oh, you're a saint. I, you, sir, sir, you, 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 you don't know what you're talking about, sir. You don't. Okay? But, if you have an authorized version of the Scriptures, which is the King James. See, Mr. Murphy, you see this? Okay, this is what you need, all right? You go ahead and attack the God of Christianity all day long, and you are right to do so. I attack the God of Christianity, okay? I do. But see, Mr. Murphy, I I've seen, unfortunately, and you're entitled to do whatever you want to do. You are a very vulgar individual. But... I've seen a few of your things, okay? When you read out of a Bible, you use one of these. This is the New World Translation, okay? This is an, uh, one of the original copies. This is older than you are, older than I am. This is from 68 or 67, okay? This is the Bible of the Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, I have seen your videos where you read out of a newer edition of one of these. Okay? <laughs> J-Hos! J-Hos! Now, Mr. Murphy, if you, have a, if you were um, poisoned by the J-Hos, I do apologize. Okay? I, 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 I do. I, I feel sorry for you if you were deluded by these twits. Okay, I, I really do. But um, the Jehos do not believe in the deity of Jesus Christ, that he is God the Father. They actually equate him to being nothing more than the archangel uh, Michael, I believe it is. Okay, they're, they're wicked. Okay, when you do your videos attacking the God of Christianity, you use one of these. Okay, <laughs> but when you try to attack the God, my Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. That's where I take issue. And, Mr. Murphy, get one of these. Okay, get one of these. The authorized version, the King James Version. You'd probably say, well, you can't understand it, but yet, you're educated. You are a smart man. But you're willfully ignorant. We'll talk more about that later. Okay. And also, too, very quickly, 
This is, which they don't sell anymore apparently, is the interlinear uh, translation or of the Greek scriptures, okay? Interlinear, what is that? That means that this has the Greek, which one, okay? Here, let me, get, let me give you an example, okay? Can you see that, okay? Can you see that? All right, it has Greek here with English underneath it and then the translation onto the side there, okay? These Greek scriptures even contradict what the Jehos teach because you do not find in any translation of the Greek text. Which one, by the way? Which one? Okay. All right. You do not see the word Jehovah. Okay. Warning number one. But I want to, I want, I want to make you aware of this. I'm going to be reading this to you. Okay. Ms. Murphy, if you want to attack Christianity using a Jehovah's Bible, go right ahead. But when you start actually trying to attack the God of the Scriptures, my Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, <laughs> and you're going to be using one of these, huh? <laughs> Come on, man. Mr. Murphy, you watching me? I dare you to try to pull some of your stuff reading the authorized version. Then you and I can talk. But I want to make you aware of this. Quote. Here's like the introduction or preface to the uh, New World Translation. King whatever this is. Presenting a literal word for word translation into English. Under the Greek text. As set out in the New Testament. In the original. The original. The original. The original, definitive article. You put the in front of something, that makes it what? The definitive article, right? <laughs> uh, and the Nestle-Alan Greek uh, New Testament is like up to 28. There are, what, 18 or 19 editions of the Texas Receptus. Mr. Murphy, I doubt you'll know what I'm talking about. If you do, then listen up, okay? M Mr. Murphy, I'm not belittling your intelligence. You are a smart man. But when it comes to who God actually is, number one, you don't want to know him. And number two, you're willfully ignorant. You don't want to know him. You don't know what you're talking about. All right? So, the text revised by Brooke Foss Westcott, D.D. and Fenton Jan and John Anthony Hort, D.D., 1948 reprint. Westcott and Hort. You go ahead and look up Mr. Westcott and Hort. Okay? What they actually believed in. What they thought. Okay? They were Christians. But they weren't saints. Okay? A saint is a saved individual. A saint is someone who is right with the Lord. Okay? Your connotation to what a saint is, is given to you by Rome, as this is from Rome. Yes, New World Translation of the Christian Greek, Greek Scriptures, Revised Edition, a modern-day language translation of the Westcott and Hort Greek text, first published by them in the year 1881 CE, Common Era, they don't believe in... See, <laughs> dude, you're trying to attack Christianity. Go, go, go ahead. Attack, I attack Christianity all the time. Go right ahead. But, dude, you, you know, you're, you're using one of these, a newer edition of one of these. Come on. You'd be better off, Mr. Murphy, if you were using an NIV, even though the NIV and this agree with each other, okay? But at least for uh, the suspension of disbelief, okay? Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, with, with which are included the valuable foreword and appendix of the said translation with numerous footnotes and, and an explanation of the symbols used in the margin, in the marginal references, okay? <clears throat> yes, yes, and also when you read by, you know, more of this, you find out that a Jesuit... 
Jesuits were responsible for that too. <laughs> okay, but now we we've, we've gotten that out of the way. Second Peter chapter three, verses one on to verse seven. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye may be, ye is plural, okay? More than one, okay? That ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before of the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Boy, isn't that difficult to understand, huh? Yeah. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, scoff at things, walking after their own lusts. Oh boy, that's that's hard to understand, isn't it? <laughs> you don't want to understand it. There's a difference. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? Where is your God? Right? That You constantly say that. Where is your God? <laughs> Where's your God? I can show him to you, but see, you don't, you don't want it. But anyway, let, let's continue. Let's continue, okay? And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Nothing's changed. Man's getting progressive, right? Getting better. <laughs> uh, you, you atheists or something else. Okay, we're going to address that pretty hard here in a second. For this, they willingly are ignorant of. Ignorant is not knowing uh, better. Okay, there's nothing wrong with being ignorant. Willingly ignorant is you don't want to know better. And that, sir, I equate to stupidity. You're not a stupid man. You are not a stupid man. But you are willfully ignorant. You don't want to know. That's stupid. That's stupid. Your <laughs> evolution cannot explain the complexity of the eye. Okay? And so many other things. That's just a basic example. Okay? You believe that man evolved over millions and billions and trillions of years in a galaxy far, far away. Okay? And that we were a sniveling piece of snot that came out of the water. And you think I'm crazy because I believe the scriptures in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. You call me crazy. You call me crazy. Right. Okay. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Word of God. What that means is that Peter through inspiration of the Holy Ghost and the Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, the Lord is that Spirit, He's accrediting that the Scriptures tell you about the creation. Okay? That's what He means by that. Whereby the world that then was, being overflowed with water, perished. Okay? That doesn't mean that we're on a second earth or third earth or this insane gap theory nonsense that those devils from Shepherd's Chapel believe in. Okay? More about that later in a different video. Okay? But the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word, Scripture, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Ungodly men. Okay? Now, Mr. Murphy, Mr. Dave Murphy, <laughs> I, I, I've seen this, I've heard this, you say this. You call yourself an atheist. And even, you have said this. You, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to laugh at you. This is a, you're a satanic atheist. takes my breath away. Miss, Miss, Mr. Murphy, number one, if you're a Satanist, why aren't you a Catholic? Okay? We'll leave that alone. But, see, when when you put it like, for example, muse means to think. 
Muse means to think. You put A in front of muse and a muse, it means what? Not to think. Amusement parks. Theist, you believe in a deity, you believe in a god. You put an A in front of that, A theist, you're claiming you don't believe in a god? Mr. Dave Murphy, I would say this to you 12 inches away from your face. You're a liar. You are a liar. You do believe in God. You don't believe in the God of Christianity. Good for you. Good for you. You don't want that. And you know what, Mr. Murphy? You go ahead and use your vile, profane mouth to accost the God of Christianity all day. Go right ahead. But the God of Christianity is not the God of the faith that was once delivered unto the saints. Okay? When you attack the God, my Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, that's when I take issue. Okay? <laughs> Again, sir, dude, you're doing it with one of these? Come on. Come on. Come on. You're an educated man. You're smart. Okay? You are. But you claim to be an atheist? You lie. See, when you claim to be an atheist, let me, let me tell you what you actually are, Mr. Murphy. And yes, I'm going to presume to tell you, Mr. Atheist, <laughs> atheist, you don't believe in a deity, you don't believe in a God, huh? you lie. I'm going to prove it to you. When you say that you don't believe in a God, you are of your father the devil. And you're a satanic atheist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. John chapter 8, verses 43 on to verse 44. Why do ye not understand my speech? Remember, ye is plural, more than one. He's addressing more than one person, okay? Why do ye not understand my speech? Even because ye cannot hear my word. Ye are of your father the devil. You say you don't believe in Satan, but yet you call yourself a satanic atheist? Well, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Stop that. That's, that's stupid. That is stupid. You're not stupid, but that statement you're a satanic atheist? Oh, okay. In the dictionary under redundant, it says to see redundant. Okay. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. It comes from himself. For he is, for he is a liar and the father of it. He speaks from himself. He speaks from himself. Okay? Uh, go to Ezekiel. Ezekiel in the Old Testament. Ezekiel chapter 28. Okay? Come on. Come on. Okay? Don't pick on little boys with long hair who don't know anything. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Okay? More on that a little later. Even one of your commenters said that to you. All right? All right. Ezekiel 28, verses 11 on to verse 19. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyrus, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Thou, singular, okay, Thou, Sealest up the sum, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. Thou hast been in, thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Eden, garden of God. Now there are some things we need to remember. Okay, King Tyrus, who the Lord is addressing, is the front for who the Lord is actually addressing. Satan, Lucifer. He did this to Peter. Uh, in Matthew chapter 16, verse 23, Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou art an offense unto me. Okay? He did the same thing. Okay? Satan was kind of whispering unto Peter. Okay? All right? Okay? Same thing here. Uh, number one, you got to remember this is after the flood that you don't believe happened. Almost 5,000 years ago. Uh, nobody actually knows where the Garden of Eden was. Because of that little flood. Okay? 
They, people can guesstimate all day and all night, okay? We do not know where the Garden of Eden actually was because of the flood, which you don't believe happened, okay? And that, that's your problem. So this King Tyrus was not in the Garden of Eden. Couldn't be, okay? Number one, this is after the flood. Didn't know where it at. We don't know where it actually was, okay? We don't, all right? We don't know precisely where it was. So there's no way that this king of Tyrus was in the Garden of Eden. He's addressing Satan. Okay? Thou hast been in Eden, the Garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering, the sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold, the workmanship of thy tabrets and of thy... Uh, Pipes, pipes, was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. Satan is created being. Being, okay? Go to Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 on to verse 5, okay? Now the serpent, the serpent, was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Yea, hath God said. He's questioning what God said. First appearance that we are given of Satan, Lucifer, the very first thing he's doing is questioning what God has said. Mr. Murphy, please, please, seriously. You're using the newer edition of the uh, Jehovah's Witnesses New World Translation? How do you expect me to take your, you seriously when you're using something that comes from Satan himself. You want to try to refute the actual Father? My Lord Jesus Christ, my Savior? Get an authorized version. Okay? Try that off for size. You can understand it. You're an educated man. You're a smart man. You just don't want to understand it. Okay? And the woman said unto the serpent, ye may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden uh, in the midst of the garden God has said ye shall not eat it he said that neither shall ye touch it lest ye die he never said look at Genesis chapter 2 verse 17 but the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it for in the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die God never said you can't touch it don't eat it Okay, Eve, because of whatever, she was intimidated or whatever. Where Adam was, we don't know. Why wasn't she by Adam? We don't know. Okay, but whatever, Eve added to the word of God. Okay? And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Right away. Right away. And Daniel had died to give, uh, give them covering you know, for what not and what not. But, see, mankind was originally created to live forever. But because they did what God said not to do, which is a work, by the way, uh, everything is the way it is now. They died eventually, not instantaneously, which Satan here, Lucifer the serpent, that old dragon, you know, we'll address that in a second, uh, didn't happen instantaneously. It happened gradually. Okay? And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, do contrary to what God said, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And that's you atheists. You are your own standard for judging. You dictate to yourself what is right and wrong. Man's judgment <laughs> is flawed. Okay? Man cannot rightly know what is good and what is evil. They can't. They can't. Isaiah chapter 5. Isaiah chapter 5. Verses 20. This is very familiar stuff unto the saints. Okay? All right? This is not for saints. This is for you guys, you atheists, again, okay? Isaiah chapter 5, verses 20 on to verse 23. 
Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine and men and men of strength to mingle strong drink which justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. Let's go back to Ezekiel 28, picking up at verse 14. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. Clearly you're not talking about this King Tyrus. Okay? And I have set thee so. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of God. Satan knows what the Lord looks like. Okay? Does that mean the depiction of the Caucasian, blonde-haired, long-haired, blue-eyed Jesus? No. No. That's a distraction. Okay? You read Isaiah 52 and 53. Um, scripture tells us that the Lord Jesus Christ was not that physically attractive unto lost people. His visage, his face, and his countenance and stuff like that. Okay? But yet, sin is so beautiful, isn't it? Look at, the, look at those stones that are mentioned in verse 13. Sin, evil, which you call good, is made to look so beautiful. Huh? Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou wast perfect in thy ways from the day that thou wast created till iniquity was found in thee. See, and here's the thing. God, and this is an argument against Calvinism, uh, God does not force you to do anything. You go to Pharaoh, okay? You go to Pharaoh, and you'll say like, hey, he fought, uh, no. Pharaoh believed in his heart that he was a god. So he was already gone past the point where he most likely wasn't going to come back. Okay? So the Lord just helped him along in that. God is a giving God. You don't want to believe in him? You want to believe in a lie that you are your own God? That's a giving guy, right? You want the lie? You want to believe in something that isn't true? He'll let you have it. Mr. Murphy. Okay? You are your own standard. You are your own God. Don't you dare say you're an atheist. You're a liar. You believe in a God. It's the one you look in, a, in the mirror at. You are your own God. Any of you atheists, you're your own God. I call you a liar. You're a liar. Atheists do not exist. You are your own God, Mr. Murphy. And all you atheists, you are your own God. But what was the iniquity? See, God doesn't force anybody to do anything. We have free will. Okay? By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence. And thou hast sinned. Therefore will I cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God. And I will destroy thee. O oh, covering cherub, from the mist of the stones of fire. What was Lucifer's sin? Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. You shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. You know what? You decide what is right and wrong. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom. By reason of thy brightness. And no marvel. Satan himself is transformed as an angel of light. Okay? I will cast thee to the ground. Cast means to throw. Okay? Isn't this so difficult to understand? Come on, man. Mr. Educated Man. Okay? I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings that they may behold thee. Behold thee. Look upon you. Okay? Difficult, isn't it? Difficult. 
Thou hast defiled thy sanctuaries by the multitude of thine iniquities, by the iniquity of thy traffic, with a K. <laughs> Therefore will I bring forth a fire from the midst of thee. Very important. Very Im when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of himself. It comes from himself. You are your own worst enemy, Mr. Murphy. And all you atheists. Okay? Therefore will I bring a forth a fire from the midst of thee. It shall devour thee. And I will bring thee to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all them that behold thee. All they that know thee among the people shall be astonished at thee. Thou shalt be a terror. And never shalt thou be any more. Uh, looking at verse 17. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Isaiah 14. Like I said... Saints, this is familiar territory that we have covered numerous times. But this is not for the saints. It's for you, atheists. Okay? You call yourself an atheist, you are of your father the devil. Prove it to you. Absolutely. Isaiah 14, verses 12 and verse 15. Oh, Mr. Murphy! Well, what, what does your New World Translation say there? Huh? Does it make the reference to morning star or day star? Huh? Huh? Actually, let, let me find out in this one. I, I'm sure they're different, but uh, let me see. Let's, let's see. Let's see what the New World Translation. Uh, this is one of the original uh, runs of it, okay? All right. Her ways are movable that thou canst not know them, okay? But uh, anyway, Isaiah 14... Out of the New World Translation. Okay? Granted, this is probably says something different than what yours says. Okay? And it calls itself the same thing. Isaiah 14, verses 12, on to verse uh, 15. In the, in the New World Translation. Oh, how you have fallen from heaven, the shining one. The shining one. Son of the dawn, how are you? How you have been cut down to earth, you who were disabling the nations? How art thou fallen from heaven, from the scriptures, O Lucifer? What does Lucifer mean? Son of the morning. That's what Lucifer means. Okay. No Lucifer here. Hmm, that's interesting. In Bibles, uh, they'll put a morning star in there uh, and stuff like that and equate it with the Lord Jesus Christ. Bibles, which come from Rome, Mr. Murphy, and all you atheists, okay? You're using an NIV, an ESV, uh, NKJV, okay? The, 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 thing from uh, John MacArthur, the LSD version or whatever. Those come from Rome. Satan's church. Okay? Christians. Okay? Not the authorized version of the scriptures. The Bibles tell you that the Lord fell from heaven. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? From the New World Translation, verse 13. As for you, you have said in your heart, to the heavens I shall go. What? To the heavens I shall go up above the stars of God. I shall lift up my throne. I shall. Well, that's, that's smooth. I shall. Sit down upon the mountain of meeting <laughs> in the remotest parts of the north. I shall go up above the height of the high places of the clouds. I shall make myself resemble the most high. However, verse 15, down to Sheol. <laughs> You will be brought 
to the remotest parts of the pit. Now, okay, Mr. Murphy, did you hear that? Now, let's read that from the actual scriptures which God wrote through the hand of man. Did this, this, dude, dude, Mr. Murphy, seriously, seriously, okay? Stop you. Stop you. Do whatever you want, dude. You attack Christianity. But d d d come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Come on. Okay, let's read from the authorized version. You're going to note a daring glyph, uh, glaring difference here. Okay? I shall. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will find the number of death. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. You shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. See, when you call yourself an atheist, an atheist, you are exhibiting the traits of your father, the devil, because you are your own God. You are your own standard. You exalt. I will, uh, okay, because you say in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. That's exactly what all you atheists do. You're, you're, there's no such thing as an atheist. You are your own God. Okay? You are your own God. You want to be like the, the Most High. Okay? Okay? And also, in Job chapter 41, Job chapter 41, which is a veiled reference unto Satan himself, just two verses, verses 33 and verse 34. Upon earth, there is not his like, who is made without fear. He beholdeth all high things, he is a king over all the children of pride. And also, too, in Revelation chapter 12, Revelation chapter 12, verses 9 and 10, verses 9 and 10, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, which we just read about in uh, Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 and verse 5, okay? And that great dragon, and that great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren, Satan, is cast down which accused them before our God day and night. So you see, when you call yourself a satanic atheist, uh, you talk about an oxymoron. Like I said, in the dictionary under redundant, it says to see redundant. Okay? That has got to be one of the stupidest statements I've ever heard. You're not a stupid man. You're not. Well, you're exhibiting stupidity by being willfully ignorant. Okay? All right? Now, brethren, I warn you. I'm going to show only for a moment. Because uh, like uh, uh, the Roma army girl, uh, this man is quite profane and vulgar and uses profanity. But I... I I saw this, and I, I gotta, I gotta, I have to, I have to, okay, I have to. So bear with me, all right. Here is this man's channel, 
Okay, here's this man's channel. All right. Um, like I said, th 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 uses profanity, curses, and cusses all the time. Uh, just profane. Look at that. Okay, whatever, whatever. We're going to listen to one of these shorts. This is all this guy does. And I'm going to mute it because, of course, he uses profanity. But check this out. Okay, I got to pay attention here. If there's any kind of clarity I can bring to somebody else, I'd like for you to hey, hey, hey. clarify for me. Okay, all right. First of, first of all, Okay. First of all, that that young man, um, <laughs> that young man, um, doth not nature itself teach you if a man have long hair, it is an abomination and shame unto him? Let's go back. Me. How could the God of the Bible? Yeah. The verses in Deuteronomy chapter I had to pause and uh, mute it exist. because of Not your following language. Exodus 21, but just Deuteronomy 20, 10 through 16. How do you reconcile those verses okay, let's watch this with again. the notion that that God is loving and merciful? Ah. I'll wait. Well, Mr. C See, Mr. Murphy, did this kid, this kid, okay, this, 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 Mr. Murphy, Mr. Murphy. This, this young man is clueless. This young man is clueless. And in the comments section, I was going to leave a comment, but I didn't want to get ganged up on. Um, all right. Uh, where, where is this? All right. Where is that comment? Um, there. You should ask someone who knows his stuff instead of having a fight with a pre-recorded video. Mr. Murphy, this kid doesn't know anything. He's clueless. Okay, and to this, to this to the dear young guy who looks like he's high. Okay, uh, young man, you need to go away. Okay, okay. But again, Mr. Murphy, Mr. Murphy, please. But see, now, okay, close this up. Let's play this again. If there's any kind of clarity I can bring to somebody else, I'd like for you to clarify for me. How could the God of the Bible be loving and merciful or whatever? And the verses in Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 10 through 16 exist. All right, no. that, that's enough. Okay. That is the typical, how can a God of love... How can the God of the Bible be a God of love and yet send people to hell? Mr. Murphy, if, if you've made it this long, I hope you have, you probably didn't, but Mr. Murphy, please, if you've made it this long, in the description box, the very first video that you will see in the link in the description box, we address God loves you thing that you atheists, <laughs> so-called, that you guys bring up all the time. Okay, I was going to link this video in that comment section of that video, but I didn't want to get attacked. Okay, I, I, I don't want to do that. I'm not going to put myself in the in the viper's pit with the, your commenters, even though or what not or what not. Okay, God does not love you. You're right. You're right. You're right. No, how can a God of love who said God loves you unconditionally, God loves you. But yet, he's going to send you to hell, right? That question is answered for you, sir. Got the answer for you in the description box. Very first link. Go ahead and watch it. Go ahead and watch it. Okay? Go to Romans chapter 1, verses 18 on to verse 25. Okay? Miss Murphy, there's a lot of stuff that could be explained to you. But here's your problem. Romans chapter 1, verses 18 on to verse 25. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. 
because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shewed it unto them. Now, mankind, even you, is made in the image of God. We have a spirit. We have a soul. We have a body. Okay? God has a spirit, soul, and body. One God that consists of three persons is insanity. It is satanic. Okay? The Trinity, okay? The Trinity is of Satan. Okay? One God in three persons is ludicrous. You atheists and Muslims get that one right. Okay? We are made in the image of God. We have a spirit. We have a soul. We have a body. Okay? You want evidence that God exists? Yourself. We have a spirit. We have a soul. We have a body. Okay? Very simple. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made. We are made of dirt. Okay? And here's a little science for you. In the scriptures, it talks about Lazarus going to his uh, tomb, and he goes, Lazarus, come forth! And in the scriptures, they say that he had been dead for four days, and now he stinks. Stinketh. Okay? Science for you, Mr. Murphy. After three days... Decomposition increases rapidly, and that's usually when a decaying body begins to stink, unless it's refrigerated or like embalming fluid, okay? You can look that up yourself. They're scientific. That's, that's simple stuff, okay? After four days, body starts to stink, okay? You can even check that out with like dead raccoons and squirrels and stuff like that, all right? But let's continue. Let's read that verse again. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead. Not Trinity. Trinity, uh, Trinity is of Satan. Okay? Godhead. Jesus Christ is the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Spirit, soul, and body. The Holy Ghost is the Spirit. God the Father is the soul. Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh, body not three persons a person is a spirit soul and body so when someone says that God is three persons a person is a spirit soul and body that's of course that's crazy attack Christianity on the Trinity please do please do and I applaud Muslims even for attacking the stupidity of this of the Trinity I do okay they, they, they're going to hell themselves but they at least got the one God part right. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because that when they knew God, up here, up here, they glorified him not as God, you don't want God telling you what to do. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves, atheists, to be wise, they became fools. A hey, atheist, dear Mr. Murphy, you're a fool. What is a fool, according to the scriptures? Hmm? Uh, Psalm 53. Psalm 53. Psalm 53. This is what a fool is, according to scripture. Psalm 53, verses 1 on the verse 3. The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. Capital G. You are your own God. Little G God. See, when you say here that there is no God, you're a fool. And to behave foolishly is to behave, act, speak as if you say in your heart, there is no God. You're a fool. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. 
Corrupt are they and have done abominable iniquity. There is none that doeth good. That's in you and me. Okay? God looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand that did seek God. Every one of them has gone back. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No. Not one. And also, Psalm 14. Psalm 14. Verses 1 on to verse 3 again. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand, apart from evil, and seek God. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. And see, professing yourself to be wise, apart from God, with the clear evidence that you have, but you reject, you're a fool. Back to Romans, verse 23. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man, worshiping yourself, and to birds, you know, that stupid little dove that flies around and poops on everybody that Catholics tell you is, the, is what, the, uh, the third part of the Trinity, <clears throat> okay? And four-footed beasts and creeping things, her ways are movable. Thou canst not know them. Creeping things. The serpent was more subtle. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. You want to believe a lie? You want to believe that you're your own God? That you are more merciful than the Father? <laughs> God's like, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. God will give you what you want. Verse 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. And worshipped and served the creature, yourself, Satan. See, when you're worshipping yourself, you are exhibiting the very traits of your father, the devil. Hence, you're not an atheist. who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Okay? All right? And, and, and also, too, Mr. Murphy, you ask questions about Bible, okay? This, this is the Scriptures, okay? Distinction. The authorized version. I know it says Bible on there, but the Scriptures itself never calls itself a Bible, okay? Distinction. This is a Bible written by men, written by the Jesuits, by two lost guys. This was written by God using man's hand. Okay? And the scriptures itself declare such. But see, Mr. Murphy, there are things, questions that you have asked that love to answer for you. But see, you don't want to hear them. And then what, what would you what would you what would you atheists do? It's that uh, you can't uh, no. See, I'm supposed to give you a reason of the hope that is in me. I don't have to answer every single one of your questions. Why is that? First Corinthians chapter two. First Corinthians chapter two. The old uh, casting your pearls before swine. Okay. First Corinthians chapter two. Verses 9 on the verse, uh, excuse me, 1 Corinthians 2, verses 12 on the verse 16. Now we, saved people, have received not the spirit of the world, that spirit of Antichrist, okay, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But 
the natural man, that's you guys who are not saved, unregenerate, that unregenerate man, okay? Natural, earthly, sensual, devilish. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the capital S Spirit of God. Capital S is very important because it's talking about the Lord himself. While lowercase s is signifying what the Lord imparts, okay? But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them. Why? Because they are spiritually discerned. You don't want to know them. Like I said to you in the only comment that I left on your video, I, I, I'm not even going to bother to preach to you. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. You don't. You've made your choice. The impossible is possible with God to take you out of that and save you, yes. But right now, sir, you don't want it. Then not much I can do. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. Ye, yet he himself is judged of no man. Why? Because the scriptures the Lord judges us through the scriptures. Okay? For who hath known the mind of the Lord? That he may instruct him. But we have the mind of Christ. It doesn't mean that we're gods. Okay? Like I said, in the description box, okay, the very first video will be, God loves you. Watch that. And then under that, you need his forgiveness. Where I take an excerpt or whatever, a piece of one of your videos, and I hold it here, where, uh, what was it? Um, uh, why do I need from uh, forgiveness from an invisible mass murderer? That's been addressed also. Okay? You ask questions? Huh? You want to hear the answer? Take the time. I know your attention span, you know, is it like a gnat. And the analytic attention span at the most is 15 minutes. I get all that. Wanna, you want an answer? There they are. Okay? There they are. Proverbs 9. Proverbs 9. Okay? Verses 6 on the verse 10. Proverbs 9. Verses 6 on the verse 10. Okay? You atheists are scorners. And when you have made your choice and have chosen contrary to the Lord and choose to worship yourself because you are your own God, Pro Proverbs 9, verses 6 on verse 10. Forsake the foolish and live, behaving as if you say in your heart there is no God. And go in the way of understanding, departing from evil. Job 28, 28. And unto man he said, The fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. He that reproveth a scorner getteth to himself shame. And he that rebuketh a wicked man getteth himself a blot. See, I'm not doing this to try to reach you. You've made your choice. It's the people who come across your stuff nominally, nominally or whatever, and um, are deceived and go rah, 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 and have no clue. It's others. If you want to talk, here I am. I've got emails, okay? And, and brethren, if, I doubt he will, but if, hey, if, Mr. Murphy leaves a comment on this video. Leave him alone. Let him. If he uses, uh, Mr. Murphy, if you if you if you do, I doubt you will. But if you do come to to the channel, Lord gave me, and you want to leave a comment, don't use profanity. Okay? Can you please not use profanity? If you do, I will block you. Okay? Let's be civilized, not a progressive individual. Okay? All right? But if he comes around, brethren. Leave me. I got that one. Okay? Same. Come peaceably, treat you peaceably. You come attacking, I'll attack you right back. Okay? 
Verse 8, reprove not a scorner lest he hate thee, because you've already made your choice. I'm not trying to reach you, Mr. Murphy. I'm not. But see, in that video we saw, that that kid, man, dude, come on, man, that that kid don't know anything. He that, that kid, Carlin, huh? He doesn't even know what side of the plate pen smells worse. Okay? He's a Christian. He's not a saint. Okay? And he looked high. Okay? Don't, 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 don't go after guys like that. They, 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 they're clueless. They're clueless. Okay? That, that kid was clueless, man. What are you doing? <laughs> you know, put accountable KJV in your search and you'll, you, you'll see a lot of people don't like me. Uh, a lot of free gracers, a uh, guy from England, and uh, also uh, a couple cultish King James Bible-believing Christians, <laughs> okay? But a lot of people don't like me, okay? Yeah, it, is. it is what it is, okay? I'm not trying to reach you. I'm not. I'm trying to reach the people that you're deceiving and that you're cheering on as they're going off of a cliff. That's it. And if you could be reached, the impossible is possible with God, then amen. But I just want you to know, I, I have, I'm, this is not with the intent to convert you, because I don't do the converting. Okay? Not at all. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Someone who fears the Lord. I get rebuked by my brethren and even sisters quite a bit. I make mistakes. I have a pride problem. Okay? I do. But, you know, a brother or sister comes to me and is like, Hey, Brad, you, you, you said something and let's talk about it. I was like, okay. Here's where you correct me. Correct me through the scripture. Okay? Give instruction to a wise man and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Now see, you brought up about, well, why is it say this in Deuteronomy and Exodus, but it's different today. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And here's something that you, if you notice, I, I get on these Christians quite a bit. What to answer your question, and see, you, you're not going to get this, but I'm, I, I'll bring this up to you. You're not going to get this. You don't want to get it. Okay? There's something called rightly dividing the word of truth. It's uh, also known as dispensationalism. The scriptures tell us to study to show ourselves approved unto God, that we be a workman who needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Don't, 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 don't even waste your time. Don't. Okay? Don't waste your time in the New World Translation. Get, get one of these. Authorized version. Go ahead. Get one of those. Then let's see you try to attack my father through his word. Then let's see you try to do that. Okay? Okay? But here's what's going on. In Ephesians chapter 3. Now, you're lost. And you're proud about it. You make no bones about that, and I give you that respect. Okay? I know where you stand. Okay? I know where you stand. I respect someone. I will give someone that respect because uh, it's easier to face an enemy face to face than someone who puts on a facade pretending to be something that they're not, like all these Christians are. Not all of them, but most of them. Okay? Here's what's going on. Okay? God's the same, but the way God deals with man changes. Deuteronomy, Exodus, was a dispensation called under the law. I refer to it as being under the law, okay, which was faith and works. We are not made right today with God, saved today the way we were, mankind was, under the law during the Garden of Eden or during the patriarchal period, which is that time period after the expulsion of the Garden of Eden. Okay? That's rightly dividing the word of truth. Salvation changes within the dispensation. Mr. Murphy, you're a smart man. I'm not, I'm not knocking your intelligence. You're not going to understand that. 
Okay? You're not. You're bringing up arguments that are relative for another dispensation. Not for today. But, Ephesians 3, verses 1 on verse 6. For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles, if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you, word, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, mystery, as I wrote for in few words, whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages, clue, or dispensation, ages, okay? There are seven dispensations, seven periods of time, okay? There's the Garden of Eden, which was all works. You've probably noticed these Christians that say that it's by grace through faith or just believe and receive from beginning to end, they're lying. Go ahead and attack them all day. Please, I do too. Okay? But in the Garden of Eden, it was works. In the patriarchal period, similar today, but there was an element of works involved. Similar today. Okay? Similar, not the same. The law, which was faith and works. This dispensation today, by grace through faith, apart from keeping the law. The time of Jacob's trouble reverts back to a form of faith and works because the time of Jacob's trouble, okay, which is for Jacob, Israel, okay, Jesus Christ has already died, buried, and rose again the third day. You're not going to get this, but I'm just saying, okay? Jesus Christ died, buried, and rose again the third day according to the scriptures and shed his blood on the cross. So during the time of Jacob's trouble, it's going to revert back to faith and works. The kingdom of heaven. You know the Sermon on the Mount? You mentioned Matthew 24, which is describing the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay? See, this is rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay? The red words of Jesus Christ, the law was still binding. He had not died, buried, and rose again the third day according to the scriptures and shed his blood on the cross yet. I, you don't understand that. You don't. Not because you do not have intelligence. You're not saved. You're not going to get that. Okay? Jesus Christ at his first coming was sent unto the lost sheep of Israel. Okay? He was preaching the kingdom of heaven with him being king, ruling, that's east, ruling and reigning on a throne in Jerusalem. The kingdom of heaven is a thousand year reign of Jesus Christ. And during that which happens after the time of Jacob's trouble, that period is all works. Why? Because you're going to be able to see the Lord Jesus Christ on the throne. Then Satan is loosed out of his pit that he's bound in for a thousand years. Then the Lord destroys him. Sin is vanquished. And the seventh and final dispensation, eternity where there is no sin. Okay? That is a rough, basic thing for you to answer your question. Why is it like that in Deuteronomy? It was a different dispensation. Okay? The way God deals with man, the way man is made right with God or saved, changes within the dispensation or age. So you're bringing up an argument that was valid for a time period under the law. Verse 5 again. Which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the capital S Spirit, that the Gentiles, not a Hebraic Jew, should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. And let's read verse 7. Whereof I was made a minister, according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. Okay? Now, that's going to be it for this video. Okay? Check the description box. How can a loving God do that? It's been answered for you. Why do you need forgiveness from an invisible mass murderer? It's been answered for you. 
All right, you watch one of these videos, it's, a, it's an investment. It's not a little shot in the arm, fluffy little feel-good thing. Okay? Look, look at me, look at me. You want, you want an answer to your question? There they are. But see, you really don't. But hey, like I said, I'm not trying to reach you. I'm trying to reach the other people. You're a smart man. Those contacts really don't do you any good. Just say it, okay? But um, you're, you're a smart man, okay? You claim to be wise because you're an <laughs> you're not an atheist, man. Oh, listen, all you atheists, atheist, you are your own God. Hence, kind of disannulling the atheist thing, okay? Listen, you atheists, call yourself wise. You can understand the authorized version. You just don't want to. You claim, you claim to be progressive and that you're wise and intelligent and intellectual, but you can't understand it. No, 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 no. You're right to attack Christianity. I attack it all the time because it is not the faith that was once delivered unto the saints. Okay? I'm not a Christian. I'm a saint. And you like, oh, 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 in the description box. In the description box. There are the answers. Okay? You want proof? Here it is. Come. Let us reason together, you and I. Okay? That is going to be it for this little video. Now, brethren, Brethren, if, if Mr. Dade Murphy makes a comment, leave him alone. If, if he swears or gets, you know, attacking and what that did, then go ahead. Uh, otherwise, I got it. Okay? Leave him alone. Okay? Any atheist. You, you guys, you atheists, you, you go ahead and you use profanity. You're out of here. I'm not even going to pay attention to you. Okay? You want to talk about my father? I'm only going to take it seriously if it comes from the authorized version. Not from something that comes from Rome! Okay? And the Bibles come from Rome. The scriptures are of the Lord. Okay? So... That's going to be it. I'm going to get this video uploaded. Thank you for watching this if you do. You atheists, please. You need his forgiveness. Okay? Thank you very little. Bye-bye. Lord have mercy.